What is up guys, Major Magpie here, and welcome to Cities XXL. Now, for those of you who have heard of Cities XL, obviously this is the sequel. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about Cities XL. Very, very big negative point for me on Cities XL was the game engine. It was very, very bad. Um, mainly when you got got going building like development city, building high rise like what you see in the background here, uh, your frame rate just plummeted, and it made it very very annoying to play. Um, so one of the main selling points for Cities XXL was an improved engine and an improved user interface. The user interface didn't really bother us too much, but the engine did, um, and I haven't had it much time to uh, to experiment with it so I haven't played around with it too much so I couldn't tell you if the improved engine does work I'm sure we'll find out in this let's play um, but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm holding my fingers because I'm, I'm crossing my fingers because I do like this game um, it could be my favorite but we'll see we'll see uh, another uh, thing that they've introduced to Cities XXL is a Steam Workshop for mods and that was a massive thing for Cities XL, again, was it had a huge modern community. Um, and it's nice to see that Focus Home Interactive have um, taken that on board and 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 provided a, a Steam Workshop facility. Um, there's also achievements on here, 27 uh, achievements to be exact, as of this video going up. I don't know if that will increase over time. Um, but obviously if that's your thing, you have targets. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in. So, to start with, we've got your build a road connection. This is to the outside world, so our citizens have um, a road to get into our city. So, we'll go ahead and do that. Go to the transportation menu. Uh, different styles of roads here. You have bridges and your inner city, which we don't have anything off, but that would cover things like air, sea, things like that. So, uh, roads. You have straight roads, you have eight orientation roads. I'm not even sure what that is. I've never used it yet. Um, and we've got curved roads, which I do like because curved roads are all much prettier than uh, straight roads. Might that's how I feel, anyways. Um, Road to come into the city. I think we should start with a large avenue coming into the city. Purple edge around the edge of the map shows where you can link roads to the outside world. So I couldn't say, you know, go to the edge of the water here. I can't put a road in there. So, right, our first road I would like to put in here. So we'll go there, we'll curve it. Hmm, it'll curve it round to there. There it is. Yeah, I like the way that's going. That's that's look that's something cool. Um maybe just stop it there. So you just click on it again to confirm the road and let's put that in now. There's our first road. Just change the camera. Not as much to look at at the moment, but there it is. Put the camera back, and that's our connection in. So, next up, we need to put our town hall in. I would like to place our town hall. Hmm. Could put it about there. I think that's that's a good rule. I like that. So we'll just pop that there. Yeah, that's something cool. Alright, next up, once that's up and running, we are going to need some utilities. And we will just start with a utility center, which will cover all of our immediate resources. So it'll give us fuel, water, electricity, and waste until we get our city up and running. 
Uh, I don't want to place that in there. I want to run a dirt track just off that road. Go back into our road menu. We want uh, just a small farm track for now, I feel. Let's run that up there. Nice, nice straight road. Probably run it the other way as well. Now, we'll go. We'll head back to our utilities panel. Our utility centre. And just put that on that road there. Like so. There we go. Something cool. And you can see everything there. We've got a uh, fuel. A little water tower. Uh, our waste disposal. And our solar panels. Something cool. So there. Right, next up, we can start putting our residence in. So, we only have unskilled workers to choose from at the moment. I want to place another road in first. So, transportation, roads, we just go over standard road this time. I want to run it up the side of our town hall. So, can I put that in there? There's letters. Hmm. Right about there, maybe. Change it to a curve. There we go, man. And then. Put that about there. That's looking cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So we were on our housing, unskilled workers, just low density for now. I want to try and keep it off the main road here. Um, don't want to have many cross sections in, try and keep this as a free flowing road as I possibly can. Which is why I've built this little road here. Yeah, I think we should go for square zoning. You've got your four different zones here, I should probably explain how these work. Uh, you have your square zoning, which covers um, square zoning. That you know, you can build like avenues, or you then have free zoning, which I quite like this tool. So, you can go and make like funny shapes like that, which I quite like. That's uh, that's cool. Get some funky old designs of that. Uh, you have single zoning, so you can just plop down individual structures, and then you have linear zoning, which is just long avenues. It's cool, but for the this is our first residential premises. I'm just going to go with the square zone. I'll just start that about there. And let me define our zone in size to 5. Small, no, no, just a normal road in the middle. Start at about there. Uh, and then come across maybe. Three. Yeah. Mm, it's a shame that's not straight because I would like to have buildings in these little plots of trees as well, but it's not going to happen. Never mind. Uh, there's our first residence, anyways. We have a terrace which looks bizarre beside this thing. I really don't know what's happening there, but never mind. It's fine. I can always clean it up and make it look better at a later stage. As you can see on the top here, uh, with our numbers 1 to 4, we now have unskilled workers. So, a nice green because they're, they're happy. I don't know why they're happy because they haven't got jobs, but um, that could probably be our next thing. Put some jobs in. Right, so if we head on to industry, Wait, no, we'll we'll do that. I want to put our industry up there because it's gonna create pollution, as industry does. If I show you the resource map, which I've already looked at, um, this is quite important when you're establishing what areas are going to be where. We don't have any oil production, so nothing's going to show up here. There's no oil to extract from the ground here. We do have ground, but we don't have groundwater, so you know, it's not in here either. 
Um, third area, yes, we have quite a, an area that's. I would like to play some farming around this curve here, maybe. Possibly a bit further. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Uh, in the city roads, we've only got the one. Uh, the railroads. We have port areas. We have quite a large one here. And a little one here. I would like to make the little one over here. Uh, my port area eventually. Ground relief is just, you know, how the ground stacks. So you can see where's level and where's not. You can see that this is quite a level area compared to the hilly, hilly cliffs from your different feature area here. We've got holidays now. This is going to be important for us because it's going to be quite a holiday made resort, I think. This. All of the green area is for our holiday makers. Wait, I will not use all of it, but you know, and that just states here obviously, of course, levels. Uh, but for now, I want to leave all this coastal area free for our holiday makers. We don't want to pollute them. So, over on this far corner, as far away as I can get it, I want to put our industry. So, I run a road off here. I want transportation. Go back to our large avenue. And make sure it's curved. Maybe just run that from here to there. Let's curve it. Stop it there for now. Establish an area for our. Is it? No, it's industry, isn't it? Yeah, industry, heavy industry, low density. Again, we'll just stick with the square zoning for the time being, I think. Yeah. We'll go there. One, two, three, four. That'll do it for now. Continue our road. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm going to continue our industry over a little bit further. Go there and use five. And another four, for now. Yeah. It's quite a sizable chunk of our budget for that, but never mind. Pretty okay, I feel. Right, we want our large avenue again. Just need to make sure that's curved. Just attach that to there. Like that. Mm -hmm. There we go. We've got our first factory as well. Hi, dude. I'm on there. Right. So, how we're doing? Our unskilled workers are 43% satisfied. The unemployment rate of unskilled workers has reached a critical level. Don't know what you want from this. Because I've got jobs. Uh, probably just move on and. That's more housing. We've now got skilled workers, so we'll probably put some of these guys in as well. Let's go with straight zones again. Like so. So with these guys. We could go ahead and expand that. Avenue a little bit further. Like so. There, yeah. It's found that street. I think it's just a normal road, is it? Hmm. 
here. Slide in like that. Hopefully that'll not be too much of a problem the two junctions there, but we can always come back to it, which is a big problem, right? Uh, our skilled workers are having a bit of a moan now. Citizens want more shops. These don't have jobs. These guys. What we got? Industry. Officers. Right, skilled workers. So, yeah, skilled workers need officers. We can go ahead and do that. Heavy industry is just unskilled, so. We'll go ahead and put some officers in for these guys. Mm -hmm. yeah, where could our officers be? We'll do some free zoning. Let's do it off here. Uh, a little bit close. We'll do up there. So. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That like that. Again, this is probably like yeah. Probably just keep this temporary for the time being. I'll probably these elsewhere. The time comes. See that as is. So that's some skilled workers. We need some shops. Shops are important. To be able to spend the money. Just do a single zone of this so I can get a few shops on the front here. So one there, one there, one there. there. Maybe two more. I'll do for now. Mm, commerces. Let's sort this out that right. Uh, manufacturing. There is no manufacturing in your city. There's no food industry. In it. That's that comes in a farm. We should probably tackle that next. There is no no high tech industry, which we haven't unlocked. Um, manufacturing or high tech industry yet. Uh, for manufacturing, we need to have 5,000 uh, peeps in the city. We've only got 200, just over 200. And for high tech, we need 15,000. So we've got considerable growth to do before we can unlock them. Stop. We've got nothing left in there. We've got the city resources. Right, okay. Probably go and do some farming now. What should the farm be? Might be. And I can just put another road in. We'll go with a. Curious. Just a large avenue for now. Paved roads. Just tick. Paved roads. Much nicer. So. About there. there. Just wind around this little bit of a hill here. So stop that there for now. If we get our resource panel up for our fertile areas, oh, that's not bad going. Quite a good guess that. Yeah. Industry, food industry, and we're gonna add some farms. We we go one of each for now. We've got the more unlocks we have: vegetable farming, uh, market gardening, cereal farming, fruit farming, and livestock farming. So we're gonna put one of each in for now. We'll start with the the livestock. And one. There we go. That 
try and keep them off that road. So. Now let's just step away from that a bit. Go to there. There. Oh. We've got two livestock. We'll be two each since I've uh, dropped a bit of a clanger there. Uh, this too large. It's better. So we've got a fruit farm in there. I'll come back to the other one of them in a minute. Put cereal farming. There. Uh, Cool. Um, there and then to feel too large. Oh, the vegetable farming. Yes. Let me get some funky shapes in. That'll look very nice. Right there. There. On there. So a nice L shaped farm here. That's cool. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some farms at the moment. Market farming. We could put one of these guys here. So another one on that there. Now, this is two of them. One more. I think it was market. Cereal farm? I think it was a cereal farm. We shall find out. If it's not, then. No, be a biggie. No, between the two roads is too tight. Okay. I'll help you about that. Go. That works. There we go. Let's have a little farming area for now. We've actually unlock a green silo as well now, so we can. Go ahead and put that in. Hmm. Then they're going to cover all of the area. Hmm. And we'll put it there. Our little side. So we've got our farming area in place now. That'll keep there. Yeah, just unskilled workers for the farming. It's not too bad. What's the matter with the factories? Still twisted about high tech, but nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. Until I unlock it. So we're starting to get a foothold in now. We're gonna need some more residents. Two plots taken on here, so back to housing. On skill, low density. Keep up the tradition with the old boxing. Hmm, something like that. Let's go. It's no good. It's no good. Oh, yeah, three rows. Like so. And then two. Like that. Oh, it doesn't like that, though. Right. I've got it. Never mind. I might I'll put some more skill workers in. Up this way.
Mm. Right, that then. Seems like a bit of a waste of land there, but I don't mind. Traffic congestion is bad. Some of your roads are overloaded and they are no use. I believe we have a traffic map somewhere. Yep, traffic. One road. Is it one road? Yes, one road. No, no. Not one bit. The farming one, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. How many officers doing? That. Oh, guys are coming along. Just approaching fourteen hundred uh, peoples. Oh, uh, that might have to see that we've just passed it. We've now got a small motel for business employees, but I'm not going to put that in just yet because it cost money. We also have a small luxury hotel for holiday makers. Have a solar farm. Yeah. What like to do is make some nice roads. Yeah, right. Maybe it's for the next episode. I think we'll just wrap it up here. We've, we've conquered our farming, we've done some skilled and unskilled workers, office working, and our factories, which don't seem to be doing too well. There's only about four of them, but they'll do. They'll expand into it, hopefully. Uh, everything's looking rosy. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll push on in the next episode.